they're in a lot of trouble if that happens. Okay, the start of the last quarter. This is the one that matters. Bounce down in the centre. There's a chance for the Eagles through Wilson. Up to half forward. West. Into the left full forward pocket. And Sumich and Lynch content to see it go out of bounds. Well, I think the first goal here is of uh, monumental importance. If Fitzroy get it, well, they're going to believe that they can win, whereas at the present time, they'd still have doubts in their mind, and particularly if West Coast get away to a uh, good start. Throw in McIntosh and Rendell. Rendell gets it down. Fitzroy clear it out towards uh, McKenna. But he may have been given a little uh, nudge there, but Kapler has got the mark backward of right centre wing. Kapler's kick up towards the wing now. This is Hart. Hart gets it out to Waterman. Waterman looking for options. Runs his full measure. Kicks long into the forward line. Nearly a mark to Stevens. Out comes McIntosh to Kemp. To Matera. Matera high, but way off to the right. Certainly a little more endeavour shown by the Eagles in the open couple of minutes of the final quarter, but no goals. This, this could be dangerous. Ball taken by Djakovic. Hooks it back. Yes, the mark. Well, it was always on. Fitzroy defence played on very quickly. The kick wasn't good. Out to Brett Stevens. And now Robbie West from almost point-blank range. Here it is. One, two, he gets it. No doubt about the mark. To say a goal would be handy here is the understatement of the day. West's kick looks good. Eagles have got their sixth. Well, I've said it all year, having seen Fitzroy a number of times this year, that their disposal is what lets them down. And once again, we see their regular fullback, Alastair Lynch, one of the better kicks in the side. Kicks a grubber to Brett Stevens, puts him under pressure. The ball's turned over. And we see Robbie West kicking a vital goal for the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles' first goal since the second quarter. And they're back within one straight kick. 56 plays 50. Fitzroy still in front. Well, it didn't take the Eagles long to get the first goal of the last quarter. Irving to take a charge at Rendell. Rendell was shepherded off that, didn't even get to the contest. Cormac goes straight through the middle to Lyon. The hand pass to Broderick. He breaks the tackle. Matthew Broderick, beautiful goal! Yes, yeah, so that was great work from Fitzroy getting the ball out of the centre. Broderick went as the crow flies a direct route. We see the tap there from Irving. Cormac does the bulldozing work over to Lyon who well, possibly threw it out to Broderick. And we see he's got a thumping left foot kick similar to Darren Kapler. Pumped it long straight for six points. So a very quick reply from Fitzroy. The margin back to two goals. Bounce slightly favours Dean Irving. He gets first hand to it. Rendell comes through. Wind and knocked off the ball. Lamb goes down. Maybe he can get it out. Socket off the ground uh, by Richard Osborne. It's out wide. Oh, huge hip and shoulder that time from Lyon was good. Here it comes out now to Harding. Harding's kick is smothered. And it will be thrown in just outside Fitzroy's 50 metre line. But if anybody thought the Roys were going to lay down and die, got another thing coming. The side has got a sense of victory or a sniff of victory and they're going to fight it right out to the very end. Warsfold, long hand pass. Carted across the line and it'll be thrown in once more. I think really what's been apparent at the present time is that Fitzroy are prepared to put their bodies on the line to win the hard ball. The Eagles have just taken the pace off it a little bit and uh, standing back waiting for one of their teammates to do the hard work. Another thing they have in their uh, favour today is that they're playing to avoid the wooden spoon. If they can get a victory, they can get off the dreaded last spot on the ladder. Caven comes forward, the ball out of bounds, he gained a few metres there. One of the many youngsters, he's playing his eighth game. There are six first year players in this Fitzroy lineup today. Jakovic got a real ride. Broderick gets the hand pass to Caven. His kick to Ruse at centre half forward. Off to Kapler. 
Kepler skirts around the bank. Another one. Well, once again, the architect was Paul Broderick, who's playing well on the centre of the ground. He won the ball from the throw-in. Got it down to Paul Ruse, who took it on the second bite. So we see here it's Caven. Received it from Broderick. Came off Lockyer's halves to Ruse, who whipped it out to Darren Kapler. Kicked a goal similar to the previous one from Broderick. 50 plays, 68. Three-goal margin to the home side. Can the Eagles get back into this game and finish the home and away's on a, on a winning note? Everyone called to play on. And the umpire will have a bounce halfway between centre, centre half forward for Fitzroy. I'm going to stress it again that the Eagles really are going to suffer here because they've lost a little bit of momentum and loss of confidence going into a final series is... Well, it can prove a monumental disaster. Mark to Wilson from that kick out of the bounce down. Wilson's in the centre of the ground. A wobbly sort of kick in towards the forward line. Lynch comes out. Sumic waits behind. Tries to get it out to Jakovic. Chance here for Fitzroy. Kemp goes across. Has possession. An awkward hand pass to Hart who loses the ball. Back comes Lamb. Lamb to Kemp. Not a good hand pass. Great pressure from the Fitzroy defence. Sees the ball out of bounds. It'll be thrown in. Rendell got it down. Wilson struggling. Ball being held to him. And umpire will have it just outside the Eagles 50 metre line. 50 plays 68. Throws the ball up. Rendell, beautiful tap, wind up to the wing. Here comes Ruse, lovely pick up, gets away from Irving, hooks it back up towards half forward. Wind draws the player, gets the hand pass over to Harding. Harding towards goal, it's bending back, it's another! What a goal that was. Did you see Jimmy White? Well, it was classical ruck work down here on the halfback flank for Fitzroy. We saw Matthew Rendell tap one out the back. Polly Farmer would have been proud of it. Whipped it out to Jimmy White, who kicked at the ruse. And there we see him back on screen following up. Great smother, great shepherd there from Kapler. And that allows Dean Harding in for a multitude of goals. Harding has kicked his third goal and Fitzroy lead by four goals. So they've outscored the uh, Eagles into the breeze in this last quarter. The Eagles will need to storm home. Little kick through there by Elliott. Lyon races onto this one. The Eagles look shot to pieces. Socket forward by Broderick. He's dragged down when he didn't have the ball. No whistle. Comes back to Broderick. Dodging, weaving. The hand pass meant for Harding. Taken in defence by Lockyer. Wind who handled twice in that last goal. Hoist it high, Osborne climbs. Front of the pack, wheeled in a snap. Won't make it. Kapler, about the mark to Irving. Didn't go 10 metres. He's beset upon. Well, it was a good decision from the umpire. The ball went at 40 metres up. It came down only three metres further down the ground. But Jimmy Winder certainly lifted his game. He was extraordinary the amount of running he did to create that last goal and uh, the Eagles certainly need a big lift from their major playmakers in Lane Weir, uh, sorry, in Turley, in Kemp, there's a number of players to have to lift. As Broderick picks up and has a shot at goal and pushes it away to the left for the minor score. Speaking of main wearing, there is still some doubt as to whether he's available for next week, John. The shoulder's not coming good as quickly as they'd like, Jared. And uh, yes, there is some concern that he may not make that final. So time will tell, I guess. As Brennan brings the ball into play into the centre of the ground. Irving knocks it on. The Eagles really do need to get something going here. Waterman or oh, runs his full measure. Gee, was lucky. Long, long kick. Hit the post. Well, just when they needed a goal, none forthcoming. Lynch going to bring the ball back into play. Nice kick. 
Target was Ruse, who takes the mark, but in the endeavour to do so, gave Lockyer a push in the back. And just as well, because David Donato was off and running. Lockyer with the ball to Wilson. Wilson the lead. McIntosh, two bites, marks. Well, they need this one. McIntosh has it 35 metres out directly in front. So we see nice mark. Right. Was a great mark under pressure, the second grab. McIntosh has already kicked one. His kick, I think, has missed. They can't do a thing right at the present time, the Eagles. They've got about 20 minutes in which to fight back into this game. They're currently trailing by 23 points. Certainly not uh, beyond them. In fact, they could win quite handsomely, but uh, they definitely need a lift from a lot of players around the ground. Kicked by Alistair Lynch. Holds up in the breeze. Punch from behind Stevens. Matera ducks a tackle, pips the ball out in front. Should have taken a free kick. Plays out. Oh, beautiful play by Matera. Djakovic snaps towards goal and kicks it. Oh, give the big assist to Matera. Yeah, well, the ball skills there, controlling it around the boundary, were exquisite. Keith Gregg is one of the few players that I've seen as good as this. Having a look on screen here, there was a free kick, but keeps his hands on the ball. Great control. Whips it out to Djakovic, who floats one through. So a timely goal for the Eagles. Timely goal for the Eagles. 58 plays, 75. Can they get another? Lyon has possession. Left puts the ball towards the left half forward flank. Waters from behind. In front was Dundas. Now it comes out to Cormac. Cormac's left foot kick up to the forward line. They need a spoil here, the Eagles. It comes. Out comes Hart. Gets rid of the ball in a hurry towards left centre wing. From behind, Matera. Can't take the mark. Tries to burst through. Out now comes Robbie West. West goes long, looking for McIntosh. Thumped away from him by Lynch's good play. Stevens off the ground into the centre. Again, Lyon breaks a couple of tackles. Gets the hand pass out to Broderick. He's caught. Stevens left foot, high kick. A mark coming up for Fitzroy. No. Snapshot at goal. Looks okay. A quick replay from Harding. Harding has his fourth. And Fitzroy looking good at the 14 minute mark. Yes, well, I've said already that Dean Harding certainly has good goal sense. And this is the man that's been the architect of Fitzroy's improved form in the last half, Roderick. He gets it out to Stevens, who kicks it long. And good roving from Dean Harding. Swings it round and kicks his fourth goal. Well, Harding's a 19-year-old from Wangaratta Rovers. He's averaged just a goal a game, but he's kicked a big four here today. And he might help Fitzroy get up and cause the boil over of the season. Well, I've seen one or two. I saw Queensland beat Victoria. That was hard to beat. But if the bottom team beats the minor premiers, well, you wouldn't read about it. 81 plays 58. Midway through the last quarter. The Eagles not looking like a team that can get up and win from here. McKenna overruns the ball. Ruse, first touch, off the line, brushes the tackle. Gets the hand pass through. Broderick again. Kapler on the run. Open goal. Kicks another one. Well, it's almost put down your glasses. You'd say that the Fitzroy players have got so much run happening at the present time that they won't be headed. But here we see Ruse pick it up. A good little chip handball out to Lyon who sees Broderick once again and Kapler with that damaging left foot running straight at goal. Puts the Lions five goals in front. Difficult to win from here for the Eagles. Tabard, Lyon playing like a man possessed. Pios. Out they come through Blakey. This is Richard Osmond. Left foots the ball up towards the forward pocket. Harding comes out, keeps it in play. 
Out comes the hand pass to Pios from Brennan. Pios is kicked out towards half forward Wilson. The way Lyon charged at that ball in the centre was indicative of the way the sides are playing. Inspired stuff. Wilson, a long kick into the forward line. Lynch almost. Chance for a Kemp. Kemp's kick. Looks okay. Yes, well, that was a great goal from Kemp. Has had a fairly quiet day, but has the ability to produce something special, and that was a great goal. They've restructured their forward line somewhat. They've got McIntosh at full forward. Sumich is out to centre half forward, as we see on the replay here. Kemp, who's got fantastic ball skills, reminds me so much of Robert Flower, and he gives the Eagles some hope. Three goals the margin. 14 minutes, 10 left. So time left for the Eagles. But even if they get up and get the points here today, they'll have drifted in the market, I reckon, for the flag. Oh, what a smother that was by Blakey. Kemp also caught in Baldwin's tackle. Kemp going backwards. The ball out on centre wing. Well done by Baldwin. And look at his teammates to pat him on the head. He started the game in the horrors, but that was a good passage for him. Rendell, recalled for this game to play his last game of league football, has a wrestle with Irving and goes to ground. Rendell hadn't played since uh, round six earlier in the season. Announced his retirement during the week and they brought him back at the age of 32 to uh, finish his 11th season in the seniors. And pass comes out. Elliott goes up and down the one spot. Desperation by Cormac. Now Pye will ball it up. Yes, they want to keep possession of the ball, Fitzroy. They're doing everything they can to thwart the Eagles' running game. And they've done it well. There's no question that you play sport nine-tenths of the time with your mind. And this is a classic example. Rendell gets a big, important thump into the attacking zone. Dundas sees it over the line. 87 plays, 64, approaching the 20-minute mark of the final term. Randall lost his boot, it was damaged, he's tackled. Irving thought he may have got a kick, but it's going to be bounced. I feel the earth shake when they both hit the ground. Two big boys. Can the Eagles get something going here? Hart takes the ball, a high kick towards half forward. Jakovic from behind has to spoil. Matera can't run onto it. West can. What's he got up forward? Just hooks it long towards McIntosh. One out duel. McIntosh with the ball. Scoops it out to Matera. Matera hotly pursued by Lynch. Lynch putting him under enormous pressure. But Matera, all class, runs into goal and pops it in to Jakovic, who sends it through the middle. Well, I think Jakovic ought to buy Matera a bit of a present because he's kicked two goals in this quarter, both given to him on a plate by Matera. Well, that was classic play from Matera, as we see here. This is beautiful play. Great hands here. Goes round Lynch on a thrupney bit. Has plenty of time to sum up the option and picks the correct one. Squares the ball to the face of the goal where Jakovic waits and puts through a certain six-pointer. Oh, that was a superb bit of play by Matera. Has come up from the wing, be playing left wing, and did all that in the right forward pocket. So not a bad effort. Here's Kemp on the turn. Eagles not out of it yet. They trail by 17. West hand pass in. Taken by a Lion, who's been brilliant. The further the game's gone. Elliott. Straight onto the chest of Waterman. Back to West. Kick by West. Inside half forward. Caven gets back and takes the mark. West has just been a little bit suspect in his last couple of disposals. It's cost uh, the Eagles possession. 87 plays 70. The punch down goes to Kemp. He puts it out in front of Hart. Inside 50 metres. It swings back. Great kick by Hart. Back come the Eagles. Yes, well, Hart read that one perfectly. Summed up the situation, the effect that the wind would have on the, on the ball. Here's the replay. Great handball from Dean Kemp, who put Hart into space. We see Hart started that ball well out in front of goals and just let it drift in with the win. The Eagles are back in 
with a chance. They didn't need that though, a centre square infringement. We'll see Randell with the ball. And that's purely disciplined stuff, that. She gets the hand pass off to Roos, who has to kick quickly and does. Up towards half forward, strong mark. David Donato. I think he's still a couple of kicks away from goal. He's going to kick from outside 50. The lead is on. And beautifully weighted kick. Just brilliant onto the chest of Darren Wielden. Picked his option well then. So Wielden is in the rightful forward pocket, some 35 metres from goal. And this would be a timely answer for Fitzroy because the Eagles have closed to within two goals. He'd be an outsider to kick this though. He hasn't kicked a goal yet. You just see him looking around to check the wind. The flags, see where the wind is coming. Perhaps he needs the weatherometer down there, but uh... <laughs> we'll see. Here comes the kick. It's going to drift across the face. Still in play, thumped away in defence. That was Lockyer. This is Harding. Harding gets the hand pass. Randell in trouble. Shot at goal. It's through. That was Stevens. Stevens has scored a very timely goal for Fitzroy. You wouldn't believe this, but Brett Stevens was playing at centre half back and he followed through there after Randell got the free kick. We see there Wielden floating the ball across the face. Wasn't a great kick. Harding butters up. Picks his option in Randell, who was flat footed, probably not the right option, but fortunately for Randell. There he was, Brett Stevens backing up and pops it through. 93 plays uh, 76. Forward go Fitzroy again. Lockyer back there, bit slow, kick smothered. Nest of Fitzroy players, but Dundas just missed that. Turley gets the hand pass away to Waters. Straight to centre half forward. Djakovic, punch away by Caven. Comes to Sumich, been right out of the business since quarter time. McIntosh. Kemp used his body to get rid of an opponent. West pulled off his kick. Djakovic for his third this quarter. McIntosh, look at the pressure by Fitzroy. The bottom team. Back goes West. Matera, he's the man with class. Watch this one. But he didn't hook it back far enough that time. A behind. Yes, we put the moz on him there, Drew. There's no question about that. <laughs> Deliberately. No, I, I think he's an exciting player. No, he's great to watch. Player. I'd so say he's a great bet at 25 to 1, the brown line. There's no question you've got to have a bit of an interest on him, but the pressure from Fitzroy tackling there was sensational. Gang tackling at its best. Lynch brings the ball into play. Irving in front can't mark. That's Dundas's kick up towards the wing. Cross comes Waterman. Right on his hammer was Ross Lyon, and the ball will be thrown in halfway between left wing, left half forward flank for the Eagles. Need to maintain the pressure here. That looks like it could be a kick going the way of Dean Irving. As you said earlier, Jared, it's hard to understand how they can pull these ones out. Lost his boot again. I don't think he's had it on, actually. Long kick from Irving. Oh, superb mark! Oh. McIntosh just drifted across the front and pulled in a beauty. And having a look on the replay there, Royce Hart would have been proud of that. He was famous for floating across the front that was a sensational mark. Took a fairly hefty blow on the body too when he hit the ground. But most importantly for the Eagles, he's got to kick this goal. Is this to keep him in the game? Left foot kick by McIntosh is good. Yes, so he is a little bit hurt. Young McIntosh, one of the great up-and-comer players of the... AFL, we see the kick there, Irving, recipient of a dubious free kick. Lobs it into the forward line, a great mark from McIntosh. And this game is still in the balance with probably about three to five minutes to play. Back in the centre. Six goals each in this last quarter. The Eagles have actually won the turn by two points. Matera. He has been superb in this last turn. Up the centre half for Ruse takes the mark. Played everywhere on the ground, Paul Ruse. 
Yeah, so he and Brett Stevens have just done the old switcheroo. I think it must be uh, left up to the players as to when they change, and they've done quite well with it. And here he goes to Stevens, who got underneath that one. Comes back out to centre wing and beats players out of bounds. We're into time on. The Eagles need two goals to win it. They trail by ten points. Matt Randall lost his boot a couple of times, and he'll come in to do battle with Irving again. The youngster and the veteran. Couldn't give either the points then. Matera. Well, if he'd been on from the start and had played like he has in this last quarter from the start, maybe the Eagles wouldn't have got in this suit. It's very thick soup at the moment. Well, it's been a sterling performance by Fitzroy. Fancy them being in this position after kicking just one goal to half time. It's un incredible. They were what, 17 to 1 at the start of the game, and with one goal at half time, they'd have been 100 to 1. Oh, I wish I had a, had a piece of the action. <laughs> Throwing again, Ford of left centre wing. And Rendell very happy just to push that back over the line. Time is on the side of Fitzroy. We're well, a couple of minutes into time on. Is the old man, the big fella there on screen. It's his last game of football and could well be one of the most memorable. Here's a chance now for Lamb, but getting back ahead of him is Baldwin. Baldwin's kick is back to the wing. Irving in front and marks. Well, saw from the last time Irving had a kick, he can get onto them and does likewise with that. McIntosh from behind. Chance for Jakovic. Ruse comes through. Hand pass out to Osborne. Osborne fancies himself with a bounce as he comes out of right fullback pocket. High kick. Irving goes back, can't mark. Dundas off the ground, should have the pace. Chance for Fitzroy as they work the ball forward. Scotty Waters. Now Irving robbed of him from him by McCormack. Or Cormack. Cormack up towards full forward. The mark being taken by Michael Brennan. Well, Richard Osborne has been playing now loose man on the back line, which left his man Paul Pios out in the wing. Fitzroy covering very well. Players running from forward down. Brennan, big torpedo punt kick. Back over centre. This is Waters. Ball jarred free. Irving spins. Hand pass inside 50 metres. Oh, thump. Down goes Blakey. Hard appealing for a kick. He won't get it. Yes, well, that was a bone crusher there from Jakovic. Blakey up to the task here. We see the big bump from the big man. Down goes Blakey, but he's up and trotting around there on screen. Under four and a half minutes left. The Eagles need two goals to win it. Ball jolted out of Kemp's arms. Comes to Blakey, who's nearly knocked out by that one. Has kicked this about 60 metres. Through the pack it comes. Lamb tries one off the ground. Broderick. Stevens goes over his head. Chance for Fitzroy. Another goal will seal it. Off the ground goes Stevens. Wielden charges at it. Can't take clean possession. Stevens can. Snaps for goal. The Lions are home. Oh, it didn't make it. It did. A goal. Oh -ho! Stevens has kicked five. Well, Brett Stevens has saved his best game for the last game of the season. Five goals for a, usually a half-back flanker or centre-half back. And he's had a sensational day out. Floated that one onto the boot with the left hand. The wrong hand had the presence of mind to get enough leather on it to put it through for a major score. Well, I think time might be running out for the Eagles. No clear tap in the middle. There's a big thump down in towards the forward line. Lynch keeps it in front of him, soccers it intelligently away from the goal. Sumich will break left, is caught. McIntosh can't pick up. Wind down on the bottom of that pack, pushes it towards the boundary line. And he's going to be penalised. It looks as though Melbourne have made the final six. Paul Pios, who's had somewhat of a quiet day, picks the ball up and relays it back to Peter Sumich. 31 minutes into the final quarter. Sumich will kick from about 55 metres out. 
Nice looking kick from Sumic. He's bent that back superbly and scored a goal. Yes, well, a bit of an anti-climax for Peter Sumich. I had a feeling he would kick his 100 today, but we will have to wait the next week. But this is his specialty. From outside 50 on the acutest of angles. Just seems to have a homing device on that football and threads through the impossible regularly from that angle. Well, still two and a half minutes to go. And the Eagles, two more goals to win. Remember how Fitzroy were cruelly robbed in Adelaide. Could it happen again? because that looked like some sort of a dubious free kick. They bottle it up, and the umpire will ball it up. Well, I guess they're going to spend a lot of time in Western Australia this week thinking about where they go to from here. I wouldn't think they'd make too many drastic changes. Obviously, the injured players will be looked at. No, you can bet they won't make a lot of, uh, a lot of changes. Watt has a little kick up towards half forward. It's tapped on. Baldwin gets back there. Matera beats him for pace. Sensational Matera. That might have been worth a free. Off the ground. West. Out of bounds on the full. Ball to be brought back in play by Lynch from the right fullback pocket. He's played well at fullback today. He's hurt himself too, Matera. Looks like the left shoulder. There's the Lynch kick out onto the half-back flank. Irving thumps from behind. Wilson knocks it on. This is Kemp to Wilson. Wilson tries a fancy one that doesn't go anywhere. Stevens destroys it to the ground. And it's forced towards the boundary line by Baldwin. So there's just over a minute of time to play. We've never seen some excited footballers. I think we're about to see 20 of them. Ten points the difference. The home side in front. Towards the boundary line. Hart keeps it in. Hand pass to Sumich. High kick from Sumich going back. Caven couldn't quite take the grab. Here's an opportunity. McIntosh's high kick. But guess who's waiting back? No problem. The big fella, Richard Osborne. Osborne to clear out of the left fullback pocket. The way to Baldwin. It's been a long quarter. Been going about 33 minutes. Out of bounds will do Fitzroy, but it hasn't gone out. Waters slides the hand pass up the ground. Eagles come forward again. Here's Matera. He can ride one on the breeze. And if he kicks this, they can bounce it in the centre. They might have time to kick another one. But it's off the side of the boot. It bounced out, not out on the full. It'll be a throw in. I think using that classic line from uh, the 1966 grand final, I'd be hitting the boundary if I was a Fitzroy players because I think less than a minute to go, that's their safety. Throw in another chance for Matera. Snapshot, but ever reliable. Alistair Lynch, there's the siren. Well, that would have to be the upset of the season. Last beating first. Sensational performance by Fitzroy. You can't take anything away from them. Final score, Fitzroy 14-15-99. Have defeated the West Coast Eagles. 12-17-89, the margin, 10 points. Yes, well, it was an unbelievable game. I think we all came here expecting a uh, thumping big win to the West Coast Eagles. But as you can see on screen, that's not the case. All the players running up to Matthew Rendell. His final game. He's been a great stalwart for Fitzroy, the big fellow. He's led them into the finals early in the 80s. Things haven't been so great for the club of late, but uh, he's finished his career on possibly the highest note. And here we see him chaired off the ground. The champagne will no doubt be flowing in the rooms down in the Fitzroy rooms. What a game Brett Stevens played. He played a fantastic game. Matty Rendell will enjoy it tonight. He's been twice best and fairest. Captain of the side, 85 to 87. He's just played a handful of games this season. Today was his fourth in the seniors, but they brought him back for the last game. And he and 19 other heroic Fitzroy players have seen last beat first at Prince's Park. Would you believe it? The Lions, 14-15-99. The Eagles, 12-17-89.